In Monaco, at this year's EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Awards, one of the key questions was, why aren't there more women entrepreneurs? This year, there were six female country finalists out of 53. Low, but up from two last year. But are there really so few women entrepreneurs? I think there are millions of women entrepreneurs. Um, I, I was listening to a fascinating lecture earlier this week from Cherie Blair about her foundation. The emerging markets, there are many more, millions of women entrepreneurs. I guess the difference with that many of their companies is they aren't easily scalable, so they tend to be more domestic and smaller. And I suppose the difference with our business is that we've created a unique uh, structure, integrated uh, business that has but is uh, absolutely scalable. Giliola Ecardi Batista, who co-founded Bodytech, a chain of gyms in South America, argues that this is not so much of an issue in her home country of Colombia. I believe that Colombia is one of the countries with less um, sex or gender problems because you see women and, and the political power and the private sector and in our company for example I mean it's a co-founded company men and, and women and we have like 50% of our employees are women and in the um, manager, management level I think it's 60% women and 40% men. But what about in those parts of the world where women still have to fight for the same rights as men? Latifa Awalan is a serial entrepreneur from Saudi Arabia. Starting a business in itself is difficult and uh, sustain, I mean you could uh, prove your concept and uh, be successful in the beginning but sustaining success and being able to stay to keep your company running for years and years uh, is not an easy job. Now being a woman has its pros and cons. Uh, being, uh, the pros being somehow doors open for you where uh, people behind them are either supportive or uh, maybe surprised that you're there so they give you the benefit of the doubt and uh, but then it, the rest of it uh, remains whether you have a good uh, product wh whether you can convince them that what you are doing matters and could be could solve their problems role models are critical companies in the west are grappling with the notion of the possible introduction of quotas that would see certain percentages of boardroom seats guaranteed for women I just think, do it. You know, we all know a business that has got has diversity around its board table is more creative and more profitable. So why don't we do it? It's nuts. And often we don't do things until we're told to. So just get on with it. Have the quotas. Do it. So maybe that's it. Role models, greater representation on boards, and generally more promotion of women in business. Who knows, maybe next year we'll see more women coming to the fore here at the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. This is Hugo Greenhouch for the Financial Times in Monaco.